Hey guys, so Harley from Cricket Fanatics Magazine here, and I'm here with Anneli Frobelard. So, about a year ago, I did a feature with her on a different platform, but I thought that I need to bring her to your platform. So she's been through a hell of a lot over the last six months. Anneli, just tell them what has been going on. Uh, well, so about a year ago, I basically broke my back. <laughs> I basically had to take a bone out of my head, put it in my back, and put two screws in. Uh, I had to lie down for six weeks. Um, I was with a brace for three months and then three months of rehab. But I'm finally back after a total of 15 months. And yeah, I'm playing for the Western Province side again. So before that happened, tell me what was happening to your career and the, how you were growing in your career at that particular time. Uh, well, it happened when I was 14. And at that age, I just made the SA19 uh, goal side for the first time. And I was playing with the uh, Western Province women's side and obviously Western Province under 19 side. So it happened right after the, the SA game, so it was, it was a bit of a setback. But uh, hopefully I can make the SA on the 19th side again this year. So how much work went into it to, for you to get back to full fitness? Well, in the beginning I had to do three months of rehab, which was tough. Yeah. Um, but after that, when I started to play, I jumped directly into hockey at school again, which, which, which was a lot of uh, fitness as well. Um, but it's just, I've been working hard at home, at the gym, and just trying to get back to that level because I really want to be able to perform as well as I did. So this is a Cricket Fanatics channel, so it's about the fans, bringing players closer to the fans, fans closer to the players. So um, tell me some of the heroes that you looked up to or you look up to currently. I mean, we had someone over here, Laura Wolfart, who would have been a teammate of yours as well. To hear her speak and tell her story to all of you guys, what does that do for you? Yeah, obviously, I started playing with Wolfie when I was 14, and to see her now, where she, what she's um, achieved in her career is very motivating and very inspiring. Another big role model, big uh, person that I look up to is Chandra Fritz. She was my coach when I was a lot younger, and she was the one that really got me into the women's cricket um, and just introduced me to the higher level of the game. And in the men's side, I love Kajisa Rivara. Um, I, love, I just love his style and um, how he bowls. And in the women's side, my favorite player was in the um, international game was uh, Sarah Taylor. So I'm very really sad that she... Uh, uh, retired because I, I was also I'm also a wicketkeeper and I look up to her, but yeah, she was a very very good player. <laughs> okay, can you just maybe tell me a little bit about Coach Claire and her influence on your career so far? Uh, so this is my first year with Coach Claire. Um, she was coach last year, but obviously I didn't play. But I I, I do feel that um, her coaching style is very intimate to every person in the team. She cares for every single person, and you know that she cares for you. Uh, and but also obviously she's very team oriented. She's very dedicated to her work, and you can see that she has a very big passion for the game and for the team. Um, and I feel that the preparation this year has been one of the best that I've had, and I'm very excited for the tournament to come. Thank you very much, Andy, and good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.